Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Hot Interval, where we make data sexy, smart, and simple. So today, we're doing something really cool. I'm going to show you how to turn a plain old Microsoft form into a real-time Power BI dashboard. And yes, it's as awesome as it sounds. Imagine this. You're tracking attendance as it happens, seeing KPIs pop up while your agents are on the call, or collecting feedback from clients, and boom, it's already on your dashboard. No manual work, no delays, fully automated. Sounds good? Let's go. All right, before we dive in, here's a quick checklist of what you need. Microsoft Forms. This is where we collect responses. Power Automate. This is the magic glue that connects everything. Power BI Desktop. To design your report and make it look chef's kiss. And of course, a Microsoft 365 account. Just make sure you're signed into the same account for all three. Cool? So why do this? Well, because it's a huge time saver. This setup works for team attendance tracking, real-time call performance updates, client feedback collection, even shift handovers, no more chasing spreadsheets. Basically, it keeps your reporting real-time and your team looking pro. For today's example, we're building a call tracker, perfect if you're in a BPO or call center. Imagine this, an agent takes a call, the customer agrees to settle their past due balance. Boom, the agent enters the info in a form, and instantly that data shows up in your Power BI dashboard. Let's make that happen. Step one, create your Microsoft form. In Microsoft Forms, create a form called Call Tracker. Add these fields, employee ID, name, supervisor, manager, transaction date, account number, call reason, total past due balance, total amount collected. Nice and simple. This form is gonna trigger everything else. Step two, set up the streaming data set in Power BI. All right, let's jump into Power BI service. That's the website version. One, head to my workspace or whichever workspace you wanna use. Two, click new, scroll down and choose streaming data set. Three, when the pop-up shows up about the feature being phased out, yeah, just hit okay, we're still good to go. Four, select API as the source, then hit five. Name it call tracker, then add your columns, employee ID text, name text, supervisor manager account number, etc. also text, transaction date, date time, total past due and amount collected number. Six, make sure to turn on historic data analysis, super important. Seven, click create, and there it is. Your real-time data set is live. Step three, automate with Power Automate. Now let's wire it all up. One, go to Power Automate, click create, Choose Automated Cloud Flow. Two, name it something like Call Tracker Flow. Three, select When a New Response is Submitted from Microsoft Forms. Four, choose the form we made, Call Tracker. Now add a step, get response details, pick the same form. For response ID, choose the dynamic value. Yep, response ID. Then add another step, add rows to a data set. Pick my workspace, data set, call tracker, table, real-time data. You'll now see all those Power BI columns you made earlier. Just map them with the form fields. It's all click and connect. Click save, and that's it. Your flow is officially live. Dataset, live test, let's see it in action. All right, let's say you're on a call right now. You fill out the form, enter the employee info, fill in the balance and the amount collected, hit submit. Then hop over to Power Automate, and yes, it says succeeded. That means the form data was successfully sent to Power BI. Step four, build the real-time dashboard in Power BI Desktop. Now open up Power BI Desktop and start a blank report. One, go to Get Data. Choose Power BI Semantic Models. Two, under My Data, select the Call Tracker dataset. Three, drop in a table visual and add the fields like Employee ID, Name, Transaction Date, Call Reason, Total Pass Due, Amount Collected. Let's try submitting another form entry. Hit Refresh in Power BI. And yep, it's there. Add a little insight. We can also create a measure to calculate collection rate sent. It's just DAX collection rate percent. Divide some real-time data total amount collected, some real-time data total past due balance zero. And boom, you're now seeing how much your agents are collecting in real time. Why this is for leaders. If you're a team lead or manager, this is gold. You see performance as it happens. You spot trends immediately, and you can take action without waiting on end-of-day reports. This one's just a simple dashboard to start, but feel free to spice it up. Add your company logo. 
use cool themes or backgrounds, drop in some charts, cards, slicers, make it yours. And when you're done, hit publish, share it with your leads, and enjoy the WoW reactions. So yeah, we just took a simple form and turned it into a real-time Power BI dashboard. Wild, right? If this helped, hit like, maybe share it with a teammate, and let me know in the comments. Where would you use this real-time automation in your workflow? Don't forget to subscribe Hot Interval for more tutorials like this, where we keep your data smooth, smart, and hot. Catch you in the next one. Peace.